Uh, I'll tell you what, nice evening on tap as temperatures cool back into the low 70s. We may have an occasional shower that passes through, maybe a rumble of thunder, but it's going to be mainly cloudy skies that we have to contend with. We are still sitting in the upper 70s to low to mid 80s at this point. Where we have not had the rain, it is still rather soupy. 89 the current heat index in tropical Dover, 88 for Youngstown. Elsewhere where we've had that rain cooled air, it's uh, helped a little bit, but the showers are kind of few and far between at this point, more sprinkles than anything else. Earlier, we had some nice rumblers that came through, even put the Guardians game into a bit of delay, but that uh, got back on the road then. And you can see that uh, what's left of just these uh, few scattered showers. But when we did have the rain that came through, we actually saw a pretty decent amount that came down, anywhere from a quarter of an inch upwards of, and this is supposed to be populating, but it's uh, taking its sweet time. There it is. Sometimes you just have to ask it nice. Uh, we have uh, upwards of an inch where we've had some heavy downpours that came in a lot of that in western Lorain County and then also out to the east along uh, Conneaut and points out over the lake. Now, as far as the big picture goes, we are still seeing some scattered development west of us. So you can see these thunderstorms that are firing in western Michigan, eastern Indiana. We'll get the leftovers of that later on tonight. We're not seeing any significant development farther to the west, but there is some low level cloud cover that we may get into for the day tomorrow. And as this whole uh, scenario kind of plays out over the next 72 hours, what you're going to notice is that we really don't have like a significant black or white type of a forecast. We are definitely in the gray area here because we are stuck in the doldrums. The storm track to the north, the storm track to the south, and we are kind of stuck in between. And so we end up just having a lot of clouds around with some sun peaks and occasional showers that stay with us too. This is not going to change in the next probably three or four days, we're going to hold on to this same kind of a setup here with clouds and sun peaks and occasional showers all the way until the early part of next week. And then you can see by the time we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, some appreciable changes start to come in as far as the dew points go. That is often a harbinger of how things are going to start to change. So we'll just say rain chances tonight, mostly cloudy, still humid. We may pick up some patchy fog in parts of Northeast Ohio and the rest of your national design our hour by hour forecast through the night. You can see these scattered showers and rumbles that are still going to be hanging around through the evening. Temperatures by morning will drop back to around the upper 60s for much of northern Ohio. We'll have a mix of clouds and sun as the morning goes on and once again, scattered showers beginning to bubble up during the heat of the day. Tomorrow going to be a little bit cooler for us, though. Today we were in the upper 80s. Tomorrow, upper 70s, a whole 10 degree drop for us. Union Home Mortgage forecast continues to have those shower chances lingering on Friday and Saturday and Sunday, and finally by Monday, we will break out of it. Certainly some good news there.